Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing a quick haul of my Christmas gifts, my um, crafty related Christmas gifts, um, which includes my typewriter. So if you've been seeing any of my December daily videos, or uh, my last two, you'll have heard or seen that I've done some typing and I got a typewriter and I'm so excited, but I'm going to show that last because it is definitely the most fun, exciting part of all of this. But I did want to show some of the other awesome things that I got as well. So, um, also a couple things that I purchased <laughs> um, after Christmas. So, the first thing is that I got a um, embossing heat tool from um, Paper Source, and I also got the clear ink and the two, um, I got a black and a white powder for embossing. I'm really excited to try this. I've never done it before, but I think it looks stunning. So I'm really hoping to try that sometime really soon this month because I think it's just gonna be um, really, really pretty. Maybe I'll do some kind of Valentine's Day project with it. I don't know, but I'm really excited. Um. I also got some fun um, carousel embellishments for Maggie Holmes. Um, I don't know what you call this, just an embellishment package, I guess. Um, but it's got some pom poms and sequins and little gemstone um, stars, which are really cute. I also got the Pink Paisley Sela V Ephemera pack, which has some really nice acetate um, transparent elements. And I really love their alpha, which I used in my October daily album that are made of the same materials. I think it's going to be really fun to um, use these throughout the year. They're really cute. Um, I also got the Maggie Holmes Bloom 6x6 paper pad. Um, you guys know that I love One Canoe 2 and I love Maggie Holmes and there's a lot of other things that I do love too but usually if one of those two people come out with a collection or have an old collection that I don't have yet I really want it because they're so easy to use with the beautiful Hi Duchess. <laughs> You've been in all my videos lately. <laughs> She's so cute. Um, anyway, I just love the style of those two brands and they're a little bit different from one another, but I just really enjoy, um, them and I'm not going to lie, I really wanted this swan paper, <laughs> um, but I'm really excited to use this. Also, this green is stunning. I know some people hate green, but green is like one of my very favorite colors and I think it's totally underused. So I'm really excited about that one too. Um, but anyway, I'm really excited to use this. I think it's going to be super fun. Um, KC got me the Maggie Holmes sticker book, um, which is super exciting because, again, I just love her things. And if you haven't seen these, they're like the big sticker books, so they have just tons and tons and tons of stickers. I would love to have one, the One Canoe 2 one as well. Um, some of them are more planner style stickers, but most of them could be used on anything. Um, a lot of them are smaller, so they would be really easy to use for Project Life, um, but I just love this. I'm so excited. I've already used some of it in my December daily album. Um, it's, again, just really pretty. Really excited about it. Um, I also got this um, Maggie Holmes. I think this is Chasing Dreams. Um, or maybe it's Bloom. I don't remember now, <laughs> but um, yeah, I think it must be Chasing Dreams. Anyway, it's chipboard stickers, and I think these are really cute as well. Again, I just love um, the colors that she uses. I love the swans and the birds. Hello, Duchess. Oh, do you want to be in the video? She's so cute. It's really cold today. It's like negative four degrees outside, um, and so they're being very lovey because I think they're really cold. It's okay. Um, anyway, I'm really excited to use these chipboard stickers. I think they're really cute. These little hearts will be very easy to use, and I love the word and phrase ones. So, excited about those. Um, the last stuff other than the typewriter are things that I purchased myself. I actually got this before Christmas, but I figured I would share it anyway. Um, I love Pink Paisley's Moonstruck line. It's really, like, bohemian and pretty like this star one just gets me every time so beautiful 
Um, even this pink cloud one is it's just nuts, but it's so pretty. So um, I really love the different, oh, that's nice. See this why I bought this. <laughs> I really love all the different things um, that they have come up with for this line. And I'd been kind of wanting to buy things for a while and had not. So, oh, hi, Duchess. <laughs> so, um, yes, I'm really excited to use this paper pad. Also, this face of the moon is really pretty. So, I think that's going to be really fun to use um, as well. And a few other things that I got in the Target dollar bin lately are obviously Valentine's Day things. Um, got a couple washi tapes. You can see that this one looks like kind of a red lace pattern, which I just thought was really unusual and pretty. And I got a similar one in white, a white lace pattern. And those were each a dollar. And then I also got this red pom-pom trim, which I think is going to be super fun to use. I don't know on what, but I needed it in my life. Um, and then lastly, I'm sure you're very surprised, but I got some of those fun glass chunky glitters. So I got the big red one, the big sort of magenta pink, and then the super bright, like nearly neon um, heart, like kind of iridescent heart glitter and I think those are super fun again when these are gone I'm gonna do something really cool with all of the glass bottles and so far I'm just having a blast using them and I think the price is actually pretty good because you get a lot of glitter for a dollar so I'm really excited about these okay just a few more things and then we will get to the typewriter which I'm so excited about um Michaels was having a sale on some of their inks I don't know if this ink works well or if they're if it's really bad or if they're just deciding not to do it anymore. Um, not to sell this brand in the store anymore, but these were um, $3.99 instead of $9.99. Which is a pretty good discount. So I got all of these inks and I'm super excited to try them. I think, I mean, I'll compare them to what I already have, but a lot of these colors like coral... Um, and so many different purples, like I just don't have that many shades of colors in my ink collection and I just could not pass up the price. So I think if I find too many repeats, I might return, you know, like if I have too many blues, I might return this one. And then if I open one and they just really suck, I might try to return them, but, um, I'm excited otherwise just to have some fun new inks to try. I also got these anchor stickers because they were just so cute. They're kind of puffy. I'm excited about them. Um, we might go on a cruise this summer, and if we do that, I think these will be perfect for that. And if not, they're just really cute and could be used anytime we're near water or it's summertime or whatever. I just think they're adorable. I'm excited to use them. I also got this Clarence Transparency, which has flamingos on it. I am so excited. It's really cute. It was 99 cents, so I'm excited to use that. And lastly, I got a Heidi Swap art screen. Um, and this was on clearance, but it's one of those um, stencil type things that I believe has some adhesive underneath it. So I'm excited to try it because I've had fun playing with the one other that I do have. And this one is really, really large, as you can see. So I could use it on all kinds of things, which is really fun. Um, and then I just got some adhesive refills, which is not very exciting. Okay, very last thing before the typewriter. I finally got a traveler's notebook cover for my October daily album. So it's like official and it's in a cover and I'm so excited. Just got this at Michael's. Um, it has a folder in the front of it. So I kept that in there and put in little things like um, tickets and stuff that I didn't actually use on the pages but wanted to keep together. And then you can see it's all bound up together. It's great. I'm really excited about it. I think I'm gonna go back and see which one goes best with my um, November daily so that way it can also have a proper home but yes I'm super excited about this um, yeah just it's official yay okay finally the typewriter look out for your tail Duchess what 
out. All right. So, isn't that exciting? <laughs> so, um, I knew that I wanted a typewriter, um, but I don't know that much about typewriters. I had used my mom's and my grandma's when I was a kid. So, I know how to use a typewriter, but it's been a long time and I didn't really know what I wanted. And most of the ones that were like, worked really well still, but were vintage, um, weren't very cute. <laughs> and a lot of the really cute ones, I just had trouble picking a color. And so finally I decided with a lot of um, deliberation that I really wanted a really old typewriter. Like not the oldest, very, very oldest typewriters, but I wanted something from before 1950 and I wanted something that was either black or dark green and I wanted something that was made in the United States so this fit the bill I started saving a ton of typewriters on Etsy and Casey was like uh can you send this to me can you narrow it down I don't really know what you want and I honestly did not think he would get me one like I really did not think that I would get a typewriter um, so you could have like knocked me over with a feather when he gave me this, but I was so excited, literally typed a bunch of stuff on it all night because I just wanted to play with it. So yes, this is a Remington Rand 5. I don't know what year it's from yet, but I think we might be able to look it up. Um, but yes, it should be sometime between, I think 1935 and 1940, um, which is super fun. Uh, it's got these pretty keys and um, a couple of red ones. I even like that this one's missing its glass piece. I don't know. I just love everything about it. It is so much fun to use. Um, yeah, I'm having I'm having a blast with it. It's awesome. Um, I just want to type everything on it now, <laughs> um, and I probably will. So that's really exciting. Um, the reason I started thinking about typewriters is because we are memory keepers, um, sells a typewriter and I'd seen some reviews for it that the casing is plastic and it breaks a lot when it's shipping. Um, I've heard kind of mixed reviews about using it. They weren't super cost effective. And then I started thinking to myself, like there are so many working vintage typewriters in the world. I do not need a brand new one. There's no reason to have a brand new typewriter if an old one works and you know needs a home. This one needed a home and now it's mine and I'm so excited. I think I might name it. I'm not even joking uh, but I don't know what I'm gonna name it yet so if you have ideas leave them in the comments. Um, yeah super excited obviously very very excited. Um, I, If you've seen my December daily videos you've probably seen what the typing looks like but just in case you haven't it's really cute. I mess up a lot and I don't really care. I just think it's so much fun to use. Okay, obviously, very, very excited about this, but I wanted to show you guys. Um, so leave me your comments. Let me know what kind of things you got for Christmas, whether you bought them for yourself or not. I got a couple, well, some of the Michaels things were bought with a gift card, but I got a scrapbook.com gift card and I'm super excited to use it. Gorgeous collections coming out. Uh, between now and the end of February, so I'm super excited about it. Um, yeah, so let me know what you guys think. Does anyone else have a typewriter? <laughs> Does anyone else name their typewriters? I don't know. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.